guys, how's it going? I'm the Tim Eister, and welcome back to Dunswell. You can tell by this distinctive line here at the edge of the city that we are in fact running out of room for any sort of residential development. And that's a big problem because our population is kind of stagnating and we want to get that up, especially to 60,000 people because we unlock an additional square at 60,000 people and I really want to expand in this corner of the city. So then we'll have a nice rectangle to play with. Um, and we unlock a ton of other cool stuff too. Airport, cargo airport. We're gonna wanna play with that once we get to 60,000. So that's gonna be the main goal for this episode is to reach 60,000 people. Another thing that I briefly wanna go over is, uh, so right now with Vanilla City Skylines, you're limited to nine squares. And the problem here is once we unlock this eighth square, we only have one more tile that we can upgrade and at that point we have to ask ourselves okay where are we going to put that tile not only that it's going to make like a weird city layout just having a random tile sticking out and uh it's not going to allow us to expand much further than we already are so that's kind of a bummer so i think what's going to happen is once i unlock the ninth square i'm just going to go ahead and install the 25 tiles mod and that's going to give us like an extra layer that uh, we can expand to around the city I don't think the 81 tiles mod is gonna be necessary. I'm not sure, maybe if I feel that 25 tiles isn't enough, I'm gonna go for the 81 tiles mod. Um, I kinda of wanna avoid it though, because it's been known to cause some weird issues, but we'll see. I mean, this map is like pretty huge. You have a ton of room to build on, so we'll see how the city expands and, and you know what's available at that time. So that's goal number one, getting to 60,000 people. We only have less than 4,000 people to go, so it's not a huge task. And we have a decent amount of residential zoning too. Um, another thing as well is just two seconds ago, I checked up on my trade school and we're finally at a level two. We finally reached the, uh, you know, the correct number of students in order to upgrade to level two. So we unlocked a couple of more buildings and... Uh, why don't we place some of these buildings? I think we only unlocked these four here. I think the last building uh, that was available to us was the book club. So, um, why don't we actually start with this? I feel like, you know, if we can get the university out of the way, maybe that's gonna increase residential demand, maybe. Not really sure, because, you know, it's gonna make the city a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, oh, what's the word? Attractive, I guess? Anyways, um, First, we have an outdoor study, which, oh my god, is pretty massive. Oof, where are we going to have enough room to place this? I'm thinking I could probably place it right here. I mean, that's pretty much the only place that it's going to fit. But it would also look pretty nice. Maybe, like, here, just by... Um, I'm thinking, like, the subway station is right here. So if we can connect this study area, or what, what was it called? Trade School Outdoor Study. If we can maybe place this kind of, if we can maybe place this outdoor study right beside the subway station, it would look pretty cool. But then how is that gonna work with the rest of the buildings? Cause I mean, th these buildings are quite massive as well. I'm probably gonna have to start expanding in other areas. But first, this fits perfectly right here. What is this anyway? I think this is a gym. Yeah, this is a gym. So let's place the gym like this. That looks pretty nice. All right. And then what do we have after that? A trade school cafeteria. This is a pretty small building, so we can probably just shove it in a corner somewhere. But the problem is we're already running out of room and we all but the problem now is we're already running out of room and we have all of these buildings to place down in the future so i have to be very mindful of where i'm going to place these small buildings and most likely we're going to have to expand the university into these neighborhoods and i think actually that's what i'm going to do now um i could probably just place this building on the other side of the street that's probably uh, an appropriate thing to do, so let's go with that option. I'm just going to expand the university into this neighborhood, and then place 
place this building down. I would say probably like right here, right on the other side of the street of the Metro Center. There, so at least it's still part of the university and actually, why don't I do this? Uh, what am I doing? Let's go here and change this path into a university path. So that even makes it more official. Look at that. Okay, and last but not least, I don't know why I'm playing on paused right now. Let's place down. Oh, it looks like I had a fountain too. Okay, I was mistaking that for the outdoor study. So let's place the outdoor study place this down right here by the metro station let's just try to get it as parallel as we can it's a little bit difficult when you're like trying to move stuff around very precisely there we are and boop let's place that down like that hmm it's not really what I was expecting I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use move it to connect these up connect that up like that and then I'm gonna use a path to connect everything up like this it's kind of too bad that the paths don't really hmm I'm not sure how much I like this because the paths aren't even really the university paths. It's kind of disappointing sure about this guys I think I'm gonna remove it I don't know if I'm even gonna place this building at all but I probably should like does it even serve a purpose what does it do see the outdoor area is perfect for studying on a beautiful day outdoor study building increases campus area attractiveness and student capacity yeah okay I'm not sure I like this I think I'm, I'm just gonna remove it where could we put it? It's just like super massive and awkward. Maybe if I just place it right here. Yeah, I don't know. Here, let's do this. All right. I'm gonna place it right here and then let's have a path coming up to here probably do something like this actually hold on there that looks better that looks way cleaner without like actually connecting these paths up we're able to make like a nice transition between them. That looks way better. There. So with the use of move it, everything is possible. How about that guys? That looks pretty good. I like that. I really like that. It takes up a ton of room though is a bit annoying but you know if it's going to improve the attractiveness of our university then that's all we need so now we have a trade school fountain which where should we place this i mean there's not oh maybe here i mean technically that's not really supposed to fit here but with anarchy i can shove it hmm it looks all right but at the same time, not really. Kind of looks out of place. I'm gonna move it. 
Maybe over here? I mean, I could technically, technically fit it right here. Yeah, that's probably all right. Let's do that. And then we'll just have a blank path going from here to here, just so there's, just so like this path isn't going to nowhere. I know these are all like super small details that probably don't matter for the most of you, but yeah. All right, well, that's pretty much all we can do for now as far as the campus goes. Let's just take a look at our campus area info. Wow, so it already looks like campus attractiveness is good, th thanks to the park. Um, and we already have enough students, so now we just have to wait for a couple of academic years to go by and hope that we have some academic works that get produced and then we can expand on Strawberry College. Um, I can't remember if I asked this in a previous video or not. I I'm pretty sure I did, but if you guys can think of a better name for this university, go ahead. I'm, uh, I'm all ears. And holy crap, what is with this traffic? Holy, just look at that, guys. It's pretty terrible. Uh, but this isn't what this episode is about. So we're going to leave the traffic as it is. It's probably going to unclog at some point. And let's focus on our population issue now. Uh, so again, we're still around 56,000 people. Let's start to expand over here in northern Port Hope. And, um, you know, get to 60,000. I'm sure this is not a, a huge task until the, the next, um, for the rest of this episode. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna build this street out. Uh, here, I'm just gonna briefly destroy this. Do that. There we go. And then let's continue on with laying down some streets. Now, of course, I want to keep with the grid pattern so then it, uh, it's more convincing that, uh, you know, we can say that the highway would have been laid through here at some point in the distant past. But actually, you know what? Let me do this. Street going like that, and this is going to turn in. There we are. So that's a bit more pleasing, and it has has more of that residential uh, street layout look to it. All right, there we go. Now let's go crazy. Oh, actually I gotta lay down some pipes first. Can't forget that.
All right. How's education and stuff doing over here? Uh, education. Two elementary schools seems okay. High schools. We have one high school. Uh, health. We have a bunch of healthcare buildings, death care. I think we're in pretty good shape. I don't think we need any more resources over here. We'll see though. We'll, uh, we'll have to check on capacity of those schools just to make sure that we're not overloading the system. I am, however, going to add a couple of parks. That is always a good idea. Maybe a dog park. And then, uh, what else? Maybe just a little, little nature park or something over here. There, so let's let this expand. I'm hoping that just this residential zone will take us all the way to 60,000. We just need to briefly touch 60,000. Even if it drops back under 60,000 immediately after reaching it, it's no big deal. It's really just to unlock the achievement, or not the achievement, but I guess like the next, uh, what are these called anyways? Milestones, yes. I was thinking of, uh, of the proper term. So a milestone is uh, what we have to reach. And there we are, so. Let's just wait it out for now, and uh, we'll see where this takes us. Actually, we have a little bit of commercial demand, so let's take advantage of the free space that we have over here. Just like that. I was thinking of maybe like building something over here. Maybe another water treatment plant or something. I'm not really sure. I wonder which way the pollution is going. It's pretty much going outwards in every direction, but the current really isn't strong enough for it to like... Oh, well, the water from the bay or from like this inland... Uh, body of water is just kind of spewing out so I don't think the pollution is going to make its way into there so we're good for that uh, so yeah I'm uh, at this point guys there's not really a whole lot to do I'm just going to skip ahead until we reach our 60,000 milestone and then we'll start getting into what's going to happen in the next episode because uh, pretty much going to wrap it up right after we reach our achievement and then I'm able to purchase this square over here. I'm going to go over what is going to happen with this square because I already kind of have that planned out. So I'll see you in a minute.
Well, it looks like I underestimated the rate at which the city would expand. Uh, so no matter what I do at this point, um, the population just isn't growing as much as I expected it to. So what it's gonna force me to do is expand on the other side of the bay. So we have all of this empty land here, plenty of room to expand our residential areas. So what I'm gonna work on now, guys, is I'm gonna create some road connections. So just a couple of interchanges that will provide access from you know these residential areas to the highway. So then those folks can then make them uh, make their way downtown and, and all that. So I'm going to go into time-lapse mode. I'm going to get everything set up. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we're going to reach 60,000 people. I'm committed to reaching 60,000. So I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, guys, well, we reached 60,000 people, finally. We are a metropolis. Uh, it's kind of funny because in real life, a metropolis would be considered uh, once you reach millions of inhabitants, but uh, in City Skylines, we just need 60,000. So we finally got an airport, cargo airport, and another square, which we will purchase right away. And by the way, I gave this place a name as well. This is Brightwood. So this entire northern part of town will be the city of Brightwood. Um, it's going to be mostly like, you know, suburban. Uh, nothing too crazy going on on, those, on this side of town. Uh, so yeah, let's buy this square without further ado. Oops, wrong menu. There we are, $24,000. So now we finally have a nice rectangle. And I'm super excited about unlocking this square, guys, because I have a ton of awesome ideas. So I won't get into too much detail, but along the coast here, I want to make like a, a sort of luxurious uh, marina area. So there's going to be like condos and stuff that are going to be around here. And these cliff sides are, are, are a little useless for development. So uh, I won't be building anything here, but this entire kind of peninsula area is going to be a nature park. Uh, very similar to Stanley Park in Vancouver. And I think I'm going to relocate this highway as well. I might just swoop it a little bit more on the side of the peninsula just to like not split the whole peninsula in two. So that'll probably be next episode. But at the same time, uh, we are having some, we do have some industrial demand. I'd like to start maybe with the quarry. I don't know, we'll figure things out as we go along. Um, but yeah. So guys, we reach 60,000 people. I'm actually super happy about that because the city is finally starting to uh, to expand further. So we have one more square to unlock at, uh, what's our next? Megalopolis at 75,000. And that's the last milestone. Wow. Oh my God, that was quick. I was expecting there to be more milestones than that, but I guess that's it, 75,000 people. So we unlock our final square at that stage. And also at that stage, like I was saying at the beginning of this episode, I'm just gonna go with 25 tiles and, uh, and we'll go from there. So we unlock some monuments after that. Or actually, we don't have any monuments right now. So we're gonna unlock the whole monuments feature. And uh, we're gonna get an international airport, cargo airport hub, and a metropolitan airport as well. So this is gonna be a pretty exciting uh, achievement. So, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as usual, drop a comment, 
leave a like, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and until the next episode, take care.